Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 138, verse 17. Their sleeping dust was, dust was to be restored unto its perfect frame, bone to his bone, and the sinews and the flesh upon them, the spirit and the body to be united, never again to be divided, that they might receive a fullness of joy. All right. So obviously this is talking about resurrection. But who who's going to be resurrected? Well, Christ was resurrected, and because Christ was resurrected, after suffering, after being born, living, suffering, and dying, he came back to life, resurrected, and happy, and able to move forward, even in a resurrected form. So shall we be resurrected. You see, our bodies were created by God in his image. Hence, God has a body of flesh and bone. And eventually, we shall be, re our spirits and bodies shall be restored to one another. Because the spirit can function without the body, but only a limited amount. But the body cannot function without the spirit. Hence why we have both right now. So that we may be able to have experiences that we could not otherwise have without bodies. And a fullness of joy is not possible without our spirit and our body reunited. And hence why the spirits on the other side of the veil in spirit prison are so dependent on us and so dependent on the spirits that can that come from spirit paradise to teach them about the gospel. The spirits in spirit prison cannot do their work of self, the work of salvation for themselves since they are only spirits. But we, having bodies of flesh and bone and spirits, can serve as proxies that those. on the other side of the veil of life can receive the ordinances and take the covenants upon them and hence how the plan of salvation is for everyone and everyone because of the atonement has a chance to be happy if they so choose it. But be warned. We need to take care of our bodies now. Because if we don't, like, we'll get our body back when our spirit and body reunite. We'll get our body back. It will be perfect, yes. But we won't look like supermodels by any means. Hence why we'll need to take care of our body. So that our spirit and body can be reunited and that we can do whatever we need to do once we have ourself back together. And a fullness of joy comes only if we have prepared ourselves to receive it. I mean, joy comes at different levels, and the level of joy depends on what we have done to prepare for that we may understand and enjoy it. 
Everyone will have joy, but the level depends on us and what we're willing to do and how we take care of our cell, our body and our spirit. Because if we don't do anything, if we don't take advantage of what the atonement has unlocked for us, well, we're not going to have as much joy as we could have, but we'll still have some. But if we take care of our body and spirit, our efforts will show when our body and spirit are restored to one another. The fullness of joy will be greater than we will most likely expect, but that we have been promised. But it's up to us. But what we do is what shall be restored unto us. Keep that in mind. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.